Yeah, I wanted to show you um, the different uh, laser cut wood things I got. Also, that um, a thing that I would like to try to uh, try out to do later, and I think it's going to be something that I would like to try and sell at um, Can Games. Because what I'm trying to do as a vendor at Can Games is basically use Can Games as a um, direct customer feedback thing for you know, to see if there's products or whatever, or game aids or whatever you want to call it that uh, gamers would like to use. And there's a vast, the vast majority are not war gamers. So um, they're more mostly uh, Euro gamers or role RPGers. But um, anyways, like I want to see, and then I can kind of gauge. And I've also, it's easy for me to um, separate um, money I would like to make doing something gaming wise versus, um, having something for the charity thing. Um, my bobs, uh, I just go, is it directly world war one related? If it is, I don't want any money from it. And, um, if it's something like this, then, uh, yeah, I don't see why I could, and I may never make any money from it. I'm just going to, like I said, I'm going to give it a shot, but I was thinking about maybe, uh, turning these guys into double-sided, uh, disruption markers. And this is just a standard Der Veltkrieg counter, and they fit pretty darn nicely. Sorry, I've had two cups of coffee, and then are on to my second cup. So but that's wonderful. So I'd like to think of, and I can make stickers, as we know. And I was thinking I can just like, you know, one, two, three, four, whatever. Um, yet again, um, also could do custom uh, ones. Someone could say, hey, I need, um, you know, this information on these double-sided uh disruption counters or information counters or whatever and um can you print me up uh 200 or whatever you know i'm just saying so uh and there's the other ones which i thought are going to be kind of neat and now that i'm going to the uh the wall to do the the week that was um i can't use uh, things like that on the naval uh to show where the you know naval engagements were and whatnot, uh, so I'll use these schooners. I mean, yes, I know they're not uh, period appropriate, but uh, oh well, uh, you know, go there. But those are pretty neat. Um, yeah, the uh, the yellow seems to work. Uh, what color really? Yeah, this is the uh, the deco art or whatever um, tropical blue, and it just seems a lot better than these uh, things. I you know these are like beyond generic dollar store or whatever, but. Uh, Anyways, hold on. Well, I'm not going to talk about the specifics of uh, the uh, the Tannenberg game right now because I'll wait for that. I'll I'll, I'll do that on Sunday for uh, like I don't want to start uh, you know uh, not having information in another playlist or a video uh, segment or something that uh, you know should pertain to the game and and I don't have it in for uh, Sunday with Spence and Gable, but. When I was looking at uh, preparing for Sunday with Spence and Gable um, and looking at the objectives and so on and so forth and where I'm going to be placing the Germans because you have to place the Germans first and uh, just blew me away how because this will be the first time I've this will be the fourth time I've played it the first time I've played it since um, extensive Der Weltkrieg uh, gameplay or my version of it or whatever um, and automatically I can already see how my mind is changed in the way I'm structuring about how how to go about things as the Germans yeah that I uh, was like oh wasn't expecting that okay hold on, hold on there well there you go math fun and games um those were some forceps or tweezers that I picked up um almost well, maybe about a year ago um, that I was considering using, I think they're aquarium tweezers or whatever, or forceps. Um, uh, they work, but holy F, they're pretty ungainly. It, it, the problem is, is the thickness at the end. Um, that's, that's pretty thick. So when you get the counters all clustered together, you know, hex to hex, uh, this doesn't work. I also picked up some bamboo ones. They were super light. Uh, but yet again, the ends were just ridiculously thick. Um, but yeah, I go to my, we know, I just love those other ones. I bought, I've purchased multiple sets. The only thing that sucks through Amazon that I get them, they, um, they also sell the, uh, flat version that comes with it. I have to get that, but, uh, well, Rob seems to not mind it. So that's pretty good. 
Oh, darn it. I'll hold on until I get my train of thought back. You know what? This is really, I'm so happy that I decided to pare down to uh, just focusing, just kind of, you know, exactly like the Great War was doing. Just go along week to week and not hop around doing one week of all the years. Because uh, now I can, you know, learn so much in context, like I'm flowing with it a lot more and uh yeah it's just it's it's i'm finding it far more manageable and like i said it's helping me out um finding out all kinds of things like you now i'm you know reading up about the uh, the raid on the suez canal the initial one and um finding out all, like you know i find found out about um this new new zealand uh division i think uh yep two axes um they came in to help support the uh, British uh, relief force up there, uh, um, some Indian, uh, I think, a Gurkha regiment. Yes, 1X, Chris. Um, anyways, hold on, and you'll see what... Anyways, I think, you know what, man, this live stream, the way it's going, um, yeah, I've only done 13. Um, I think it's, yeah, I, I'm happy at the progress it's going, and I like at the, at where it's going. I'm just, you know, learning, and eventually I'll get better and better. And I'll tell you something else uh, I clued into. I'll show you in a minute. Hold on. I want you, want you to see the wall map, maybe. So there you go. You see what I mean? So then I can do that. It's not obviously going to be to the, um, you know, the scales are going to be a bit off sometimes. Um, but then I can also say, okay, what, you know, where was, it, was this in a uh, specific Der Weltkrieg scenario and so on and so forth. And we can, you know, discuss and whatever. Yeah, I think, and, I mean, if I keep the map up like this and go week to week, I can leave the fronts, you know? Anyways, I'm liking this. Oh, and the other uh, thing about the live stream I clued into, it's um, the USB cable extender I was using, I think, um, the one I was using, the longer one, not this blue one, the other one was like the shielded thing, and trust me, I need it because... Tithead over there, Leo, uh, loves um, chewing cords like there's no flipping tomorrow. Oh, my God. Anyways, uh, so I think that's what it was, which means I can now use the camcorder for live streams. I practiced with it. I set up a um, proxy broadcast thing through StreamYard so I can just hop on in there and test stuff all the time whenever I want to try. You're like, oh, okay, what does this split screen look like and so on and so forth. And I tried the, um, excuse me, I did a uh, test with the camcorder again and taped up the USB extender as well um, because I also have to go, go then to a USB to mini uh, connector kind of thing. So there's a lot of connections before, you know, between the camcorder and the um, computer. But anyways, oh my gosh, I was able to get some amazing live stream uh, video quality and I was able to use the scale function so that'll be great for the uh, you know doing the map and whatnot I think so uh, yep that's it um, hope you guys have a fantastic Tuesday I've got about two more hours before uh, I have to bike off to work but uh, I have to start getting my head even around there and turn off the ambient music and get into reality okay have a good one bye